Hey guys, it's Maddie from Let's Eat Plants, and today we are making a healthy vegan tom yum soup. Now, this soup is actually super easy to make. Anybody can make it very easily at home, but there are a couple special ingredients which may need to be sourced at like a specialty store or perhaps your local Asian market. We are going to need some kaffir lime leaves, some galangal, which I have the sliced form here, some whole lemongrass stalks, and some Thai chilies. We will also need some garlic, but I think you guys are familiar with that already. Now, most of these items I actually keep in the freezer and just pull them out as needed for soup. And that is basically just to help them last longer since I don't use these ingredients that often. So first thing we're going to do is to make our broth, which I am just using some water and my Better Than Bouillon broth paste to make a basic veggie broth, but any veggie stock will do here. And now we're going to prepare the flavoring components of this recipe. I am just counting out 10 kaffir lime leaves, five stalks of lemongrass, 10 Thai chilies, and two one inch pieces of galangal. So first thing I'm going to do is just to remove the stems and some of the seeds from our Thai chilies. If you want it very spicy, feel free to leave the seeds in, but just a word of warning, the more seeds that are in the broth, the spicier it will be. Now keep in mind, you can actually keep the tops of the chilies to make yogurt. Now I have not tried this myself, but I have actually seen videos where people just stick the stems into whatever they want to ferment, and then you end up with yogurt. So I will leave that video in the description box down below if any of you are keen to try it out. Now I've just rinsed the kaffir lime leaves and I'm just gently tearing or breaking them down a bit to release their aroma a bit more. As you can see, we don't don't want them chopped, just a little bit torn to release their flavor. Now, since this is frozen lemongrass, I don't need to remove any of the outer stalks. If you do buy the fresh lemongrass, you would want to remove at least one layer of husk from the outside. But what I am going to do is just chop them into smaller pieces, and then we are going to whack them to release more flavor. So just take any heavy object you have in your kitchen and just give them a little whack, whack, whack. And then for the garlic, we are just going to smash it as well. So now we want to add all of our aromatics into our soup broth. And we're gonna let that simmer for about 10 minutes. Meanwhile, I'm just going to prepare the mushrooms. I have both small cremony mushrooms, as well as the black oyster mushrooms. But you can use any mushrooms you like. Just give them a quick rinse if they are dirty and then chop them into bite-sized pieces. I like to do a rough chop with the black oyster mushrooms. Just get them roughly into bite-sized pieces. And then with the cremony mushrooms, I usually cut off part of the stem and then into quarters. So we have our mushrooms ready to go. And now we are just going to need two onions chopped into bite-sized pieces as well. So now that the soup broth has simmered for about 10 minutes, I'm going to add the onion and the mushrooms and let that cook for about five more minutes. Meanwhile, we are going to prepare our tomatoes. I just have two large tomatoes here. I've just quickly rinsed these and I'm going to remove the stem and slice them into wedges. We are also going to need some fish sauce. This is actually a vegan fish sauce. And if you don't already have any, I will put a link down below where you can find it on Amazon. And we are going to need about half a cup of this vegan fish sauce. And we're just going to add that to our soup, give it a stir and also a quick taste. Now, optionally, you could add some more fish sauce if you don't feel it's salty enough or a little bit of sugar if you think it needs a little bit of sweetness. But I thought mine tasted pretty perfect. So I went ahead and added my tomatoes. 
which is basically the end of the soup, so I wanted to turn off my broth and just let those tomatoes soften in the hot broth. Now our next ingredient is going to be lime juice, which I have already frozen into ice cubes. So I'm just defrosting a few cubes, which is enough to make about half a cup of lime juice. And we wanna add this at the very end, right before you're about to serve your tom yum. Now I like to serve this tom yum with a lot of vegetables. I am adding some broccoli and a few other kinds of Chinese vegetables. And then just ladle in your broth. Now if you see any of the kefir lime leaves or lemongrass stalks, you can just pick them out, as we definitely don't wanna eat them. And optionally, you can garnish with a bit of coriander. Now Q, on the other hand, likes to eat his tom yum with noodles, which is also definitely an option. Just add your broth on top of some cooked noodles. Now with your leftover broth, I highly suggest to strain out the remaining vegetables and to store those in a separate Tupperware from the broth. Otherwise, it can get a bit too soggy. So I usually just scoop everything out with a slotted spoon and add it to one Tupperware and then add the broth to however many Tupperwares are needed. Now again, if you see any of the galangal, lemongrass, or kefir lime leaves, just go ahead and pick those out because we definitely don't wanna eat them. And go ahead and just store your Tupperwares in the fridge until you're ready to make your next soup. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a like down below. And with that, let's eat plants, and I will see you guys next time.